Jeff Fischel here on the ACC Digital Network with the head coach of the Clemson Tigers, Dabo Sweeney. And I know, Dabo, when we talk Clemson, people think of the offense. But now this year's team, I think you could argue, the defense is what's going to dominate. Well, I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think when it's all said and done, I still think we'll be one of the, one of the better offenses out there. Uh, we've, we've obviously got some guys we've got to grow up early. Um, and from year to year, your team changes a little bit right. from a maturity standpoint as far as position groups and offense, defense. And just so happens this year we've got a, a ton of veteran leadership on the defensive side of the ball led by six seniors up front. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'll, be, you know, I'll be very disappointed when the season's over if we're not one of the you know, best defenses out there. I asked Vic Beasley yesterday. He said, we are the best defensive line in the nation. I mean, it's good to see these guys are embracing that role. Well, I think that's great. You know, I think they, they – you know, play with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. This time last year, nobody even knew their names. Um, they led the nation in tackles for loss. We've got good depth, uh, which means we have great competition. And uh, we're obviously talented, but we got we got the experience to go with it. So I think those are all, uh, you know, great ingredients uh, that hopefully will lead to excellent play on that side of the field. Flip the other side. Obviously, Taj is gone. Talking to Cole Stout here at ACC kickoff, he seems very comfortable in this role as taking over the offense. Yeah, I think he's as ready as you can possibly be to – to take over from a guy like Taj Boyd. I mean, he's been in the meeting rooms with him for three years. They've had the same coach, same system. Uh, he's been the backup since the day he got here. And, uh, and, and not only that, he's prepared every week like to, you know, he had to go be the starter. And so he has the right mentality. And then he has a confidence uh, about him because he's played quite a bit and he's played well when he's played. Right. And so, um, you know, I think from that standpoint, he's about as prepared as you can be. Uh, obviously, he's got to go perform well as the starter. Uh, the guys have great respect for him. Uh, he, he was in a competition this spring. He won the job. So I think that just kind of further uh, solidified his confidence. And uh, I'm excited to see him have his opportunity. I love, I love his patience, uh, the fact that he's always been ready. He's never complained. And, uh, you know, it's good to see guys like that get that opportunity, and, and hopefully he'll take full advantage of it. Well, you're right. He's done everything he can up till now, and he's completed like 70% of his pass over the last three years, one interception ever. Yeah. Uh, so it certainly looks like he's ready for the role. Now, I know in your main meeting room you have a list of goals for each season. Are they changing this year, or what are the goals for 2014? No, our, our goals are the same. Our goals are, are very simple. We want to win the opener. Uh, we want to win our division. We want to win the uh, state championship. We want to win the ACC championship. We want to win the bowl game. That's our goals, because we feel like that at Clemson, if, if we can achieve those goals, then we have a chance to be nationally relevant and very much in the picture at the end of the year. Um, and, uh, you know, over the past five years, we've had, hit every single one of those goals with, with the exception of winning the state championship. So that's obviously a, uh, something that's been in our way a little bit. And, and not just from a state standpoint, from a national standpoint. You know, we finished seventh, they finished fourth. So... Uh, you know, that's what we focus on are, are those goals. Uh, but, but right now it's, it's one at a time, and our, our goal is to win the opener. Uh, we've done a good job of that the last couple of years, and it's going to take uh, all hands on board to get it done down in Athens, that's for sure. Yeah, that's a tough one. Obviously, fans in the part of the country, they love it because it is such a close rivalry. You guys, good seeing you guys getting back at it. I know that's for fun for sure. Dabo Sweeney here on the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.